Kinder Morgan. Kinder Morgan want a pipeline, want to move some frack gas, want to do some damage to fields and orchards and farmland. But loving people say no, and marching people say no, and biking people say no, and farming people say no. Never loving people say no, and serving people say no. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water. This land was made for you and me. We'll do this chorus one more time. For Pete, land is your land. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Stop the pipeline! I'm absolutely clear we do not need a pipeline running through Massachusetts. of being the first city to pass a resolution against the pipeline. So I thought it'd be great to have him here. Can, can, you, can you hear me? Okay. Um, well, thank you very much and, and welcome, welcome to Northampton. I'm honored that you've come here to continue the fight uh, against this reckless gas, uh, frack gas pipeline. Uh, thank you very much. Um, you can't hear me? We're having some audio Just talk problems. into it. Yeah, it's okay. Can you hear me now? This is better. Okay. Um, so Northampton, I think, was maybe one of the first half dozen or so communities to pass a resolution against uh, the pipeline. And it did it, I don't know, several months ago. And I've been asked after, since that time, why did you do it? Because the pipeline was not intended to go through the city of Northampton. And my answer has always been that it's true that the pipeline is not going to travel through our borders, but it will definitely transgress against our principles. And I think they're principles that everyone in Western Mass agrees on and probably 
across the Commonwealth. And I would describe the principles this way. Uh, you know, we live in the natural world. We live in a Commonwealth. And we, uh, and we live in our, in, in our democracy. And because we live in the natural world, we have to protect our environment. Uh, we have to stand against the destruction of some of the most beautiful land and conservation land, really, I think, in the United States. Uh, because we live in the Commonwealth, we have to stand together, and we can't let cities and towns go it alone in the face of a giant corporation who wants to come in and take advantage of them. We have to stand shoulder to shoulder and show solidarity. And finally, finally, we live in a democracy, which means that we refuse to allow private corporate interests to trump the public interest and to trump the public good. And frankly, I feel that way whether you're a pipeline in Plainfield or a casino in Springfield. Um, but I also want to make clear that everyone who's come here today, and I think everyone's from many different communities across Western Massachusetts, you're not just here to stand against one thing, we're all here to stand for something. And what we're standing for is a clean energy future for our country and our commonwealth. That's number one. We're standing for prudent, long-term investments in Massachusetts that will actually bring down people's utility bills for real. Yeah. And, and finally, we're standing for the belief that, you know, we can do better in Massachusetts. And Massachusetts has the willpower and the knowledge and the passion to do something better. We can do better than this pipeline, and we will. Thank you. I, thank you, Ryan. Um, I'd like to introduce Sarah Stockwell for her other song. Uh, hopefully, we have our audio problems there. Yeah, if the audio kicks out, she's going to go acoustic. She's a fantastic player. Sarah, Sarah Stockwell Arthur, everybody. It's hard to say. Right. If this cuts out, I'm going to stand in front of it and we're, you're going to hear me anyway. That's right. So you tell me. <laughs> this is written by a man who is living on the land that his father lived on and his father's father. And he was inspired by the writings of Native Americans about their land. He's in Scotland. So the strange words are about places where he lives. It has a great chorus, which I will teach you when we get there by doing a McLean. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Down the Buffy Den, the bird crashes brown from the autumn space. That's the chorus. It's a land that is our wisdom. It's a land that shines us through. It's a land that feeds our children. It's a land you cannot own. The land owns you. It's a land that is our wisdom. It's a land that is our wisdom. Shines us through. It's a land that shines us through. Feeds our children. It's a land that feeds our children. You cannot own. It's a land you cannot own. The land. The land owns you. Across the Arlick face, the amber sun beats down to tinge the 
green. I hear it wild and loud, see it wide and proud, the way it's all. our children. It's the land that feeds our children. You cannot own. It's the land. You cannot own the land. The land owns you. Where is the honest truth? Where is the open soul? Where is the simple smile? A coothy word or two for the passing stranger who may rest a while. Much, Sarah, and it sounds like we've got the audio mostly fixed. <laughs> mostly fixed. So, again, if you've just joined us, uh, this is a rally to stop the Kinder Morgan pipeline that they want to build across the state. Uh, we have petitions up here on the table, we have information, and we've just been joined by somebody from the Green Start program. Uh, that's a program where you can actually uh, designate um, your electric bill to be taken from clean energy sources. That's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm short. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. But you can actually uh, designate your electric bill to be taken from green energy sources. So it can, it can come from solar, wind, um, uh, anaerobic digester, and other, other programs. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for an inexpensive way to cut yourself off of the fossil fuel grid. So our next uh, set of players is the Visioning Bear Singers. Bear Circle Singers from the Visioning Bear Circle Into Tribal Coalition. And we're gonna sing a song that's perfect for the occasion, but it's pretty new. So we may not do it perfectly, but we know that you'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy crawlers 
If you want to make your voice heard, it's not just our petition that we have, but we're encouraging people to comment. Yeah. yeah, we're encouraging people to comment on the docket. When a pipeline proposal is made, they have to file with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and it's given a docket number, and anyone can comment on that number. And we want as many public comments about this pipeline as possible. So if you want to find out how to do that, how to register, go to no fracked gas in mass and look for the FERC, look for the tab that says FERC. And that's where that information is.